More residents are finding out about the benefits of being involved in a neighborhood association. In only the past two years, Irving added 20 neighborhood associations, and the total number of associations across the city is now approaching 100. My departmental colleague, Rebecca Banks, is one of those who works on the neighborhood services team, and thanks so much for coming in, Rebecca. Thank you for having me. Yeah, there is a lot to talk about. Let's start with the benefits. What are the biggest benefits of having a neighborhood association? Right, so one of the big things is that we have a matching grant program, and those funds are up to $1,750, and that can be used for a multitude of things, whether they want to do a newsletter or a website to com communicate with their neighborhoods, or also events. So if you want to do a national night out event or just an annual get together, you can do that. Of course, beautification efforts. So if you want to like make the park in your area, you know, pretty, you can do that as long as it's for the benefit of all neighbors. So I understand that grant process is about to get started. So what should associations be thinking about at this time? So make sure that your association is registered with the city is the biggest thing. Um, and the grants, make sure that you have um, thinking about some of the events you want to hold because it's through the fiscal year starting October 1. So National Night Out is a big thing. So make sure that you are planning those ahead of time so that you can use those fundings for that as well. And here on City Source, we have shown highlights of some of the neighborhood roundtables that you hold. Tell me about some of the benefits of those programs and the other ways that associations can interact with city staff. Yeah, so our roundtables are quarterly and they're available to all the registered associations who with their presidents and all their leadership can come. And we do presentations for city services, events, so that they can stay on top of everything going on in the city. So we've talked about some of the various benefits of neighborhood associations. How can your team help an association get started? Right, so we have resources online with setting up bylaws, meeting agendas, um, sign-in sheets, et cetera, just to keep everyone on track and their record keeping. We also provide one-on-one -on -one information if they need, we can get them in contact with department directors or city services if they wanna have those at their annual meetings. Um, we're always there to assist with whatever they need. Ready to help. Rebecca Banks, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. And there is a lot more to learn at cityofirving.org slash neighborhood hyphen services.